and I just rock up with the 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 man, and I throw the first blow, <laughs> and I'm like pussy off, and then I'm out. <laughs> End scene. <laughs> That's my rolling team. Yeah. That's what I want. And I make cake. Yeah. And then all I do is complain to DeShane. Yeah. <laughs> like the youngers are starving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I want to be we that We need guy. more food on the yeah, streets. we need more food. What's going on with this connect? <laughs> There's the grub. Yeah. We need more food in the streets. The youngers are balling. <laughs>Okay, while well, going, people. What's good, my Jesus? Thank damn. you for showing face. Uh, welcome. <clears throat> what else is there to say? Um, happy for you to be here. As always, guys, what we're going to need you to do is pause the episode right this second, real yeah, quick. Pause it. Head on over to Patreon. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Where did that come from? Patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs thank you sir patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs we need to get over there and that's going to give you two years worth of episode two years mm. worth of content your boys coming up in the game um over there on patreon and you're going to get a brand new episode from us every single thursday on top of that all the other perks you get to join in the zoom calls with us once a month uh you get discount on merch you get all the bells and whistles priority on the the assholes mm-hmm. on uh, mm-hmm. topics for us to talk about um and just a nice friendly community um over there on patreon so patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs head on over there today um and have some fun with it yeah man on top of that guys if you are watching this on youtube please please do us a massive favor like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we're posting it does so much for the channel um we're on that mission 100k now mm. we want that plaque baby you do want that plaque. Want we're that halfway plaque so we're half- imagine seeing it here guys this is where yeah. it's going to live when we get it i want that 100k subscriber plaque so flipping yeah, badly yeah, we're over the halfway mark now so guys That's tell a friend so surreal oh i know oh i know Tell a friend to tell a friend so we can get that plaque because we've wanted that plaque since before we even had yeah, a YouTube channel. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, cool yeah, yeah. and I want it. Um, so guys, please tell a friend to tell a friend, like, subscribe, and as always, chirps the ting in the comments. Uh, we're going to need breeding grounds. A lot of people actually don't know what chirps even means. They found they <laughs> do not. <clears throat> they actually don't because in the comments, they just put chirp. They just chirps. put chirps, 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 chirps big man. The- All right. If you're not from the UK, yeah, I can understand because uh, someone mess- some someone from Australia messaged mm. us the other week and was like, like "Love the show, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. Big man, thing. What does chirps actually mean? Because <laughs> you just keep saying it. Chirps means like what's the flirt? Flirt. Flirt. Crack, with on. It, crack on with the thing with it yeah, in the comments. Yeah, yeah. You see a guy, you see a girl, you think she's banging, you move to her. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what chirps in is. <laughs> that's what chirps in is. You're spitting game. Yeah, natural instincts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Follow your gut. Exactly. Um, that's what Chirps it is. So <laughs> Chirps are ding in the comments. Um, find a partner for the breeding grounds. Mm. White robes and Yeezys. The uniform. Um, that's the uniform. 2023, a nice log cabin in Idaho um, is where we're going to be at, guys. So, cornered off. Yeah, cornered off. Secular from the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're just going to indoctrinate Utes into our way of thinking. And no one gets cancelled over there. No one. And everyone just bangs. Yeah. <laughs> Bangs and laughs. Free reign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open bar. Yeah, man. Sip, oh, sips on tap. Ooh. Yeah, it's a life over there. It's a <laughs> life over there. <laughs> um, so, guys, as always, thank you for that. And if you're listening um, to the smooth, mellow tones of your boy J Money and Fire Lord Fwags, whether that be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, wherever it is you listen to your podcast, please, please, please. Um, subscribe to the channel and leave a nice review. It does wonders um, for the Five show. Starting, yeah. Please, please, please. Um, it would mean a lot to us. And uh, apart from that, I think I think we're good to go. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Okay, cool. So um, before we start, well, to start, um, I'm like a week behind now uh, because of our recording schedule, but. Did you watch the Eddie Hall versus Thor fight? No. You didn't miss much. To be fair, you didn't miss I, much. The only thing I saw was the... What's the thing they do beforehand? The, the little... Oh, like the, um, the like the conference. Like the... You know what I mean. Press conference. Press conference. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see Eddie Hall just stand up. Yeah, he gave it. Trying to, trying to egg man on. And that's all I saw. I, did, I completely forgot about the fight after that. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> 
I don't know what I was expecting from the fight. To be fair, I wasn't expecting that much. Um, mm. But obviously, two of the strongest men in the world mm. trying to swing bombs, like mm. that's intriguing to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. That's intriguing to anyone. Um, they can't box for shit. It doesn't surprise me. But the thing is as well, it's mad as well, because I know, I think Eddie might have had a couple of fights already. I'm not sure, but Thor's definitely had a couple of fights. Okay. Um, that he's won, I think. Okay. Um, also, did you see he shredded down from what he used to look I like? They were wearing clothes, like, <coughs> oh, they didn't back fam? off their tops. <clears throat> Thor shredded now. Okay. Shredded. Okay. Um, but anyway, so, it was all right. I know a lot, a lot of people, loads of people messaged me over the weekend saying, oh, you need to react to the Thor fight, you need to mm. react to the Eddie, um, Eddie Thor fight, and I'm just like, all right, cool, man. <laughs> and then, fam, I watched it, and I was just like, I, I don't know yeah. what you want me to say. Yeah. Um, so, it was all right. Mm. So, obviously, like I said, Thor shredded down, it looks pretty fucking decent, to be fair. I'm sure he's still strong as tits. He's tall as anything. Eddie looks slimmer, but mm-hmm. is still carrying a lot of weight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it was it was sold as the heaviest fight or the heaviest boxing match of all time or whatever. Okay. Whether or not that's true, I guess it technically has to be true. Mm, they are built pretty They're tough. Built. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man, it's one of them ones where people say like, oh, you always resort. Um, or well, I don't even know what the terminology is or the phrase is, but it's like you always like resort to the the level of your training. Mm-hmm. So like if you're tra- if you're trained to a certain degree, like in in a like fight or flight scenario, you'll always resort to your training. Mm-hmm. So if your training is whack, regardless of how how much you're flaunting it in the game, mm-hmm. like when mm-hmm. you're scared, you will resort to your training. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. that happened with Eddie because I've seen some like pad work of Eddie mm-hmm. before, and and a lot of people were saying, like, oh, this guy can actually. For a punch, like he's looking a bit decent. Mm. Um, like his technique wasn't that bad it, from the training videos and stuff that I saw. So I thought, okay, he could bring a little something. Mm. And the fights that I've seen Thor do, he he looks terrible. So I was like, oh, okay, I think Eddie, Eddie might have him up. Obviously, mm. there's a massive height and reach difference, mm. but I think Eddie might have him up because mm. in the pad work he looks a bit all right. Mm. But um, from what I've seen of Thor, he, his technique is terrible, fam. Mm. Flip flop, you know, reverse Bollywood twist. <laughs> <laughs> Bollywood twist, <coughs> Uno reverse. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Eddie was looking shit, bruv. Oh, is it? Well, I tell you what, it's like one of them ones as well. Is like he was. How do I explain it? You know, when you're playing like Tekken or something, mm-hmm. and you're on a button mash thing, mm-hmm. and you figure out one combo that yeah, moves, yeah, 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 and that's yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah, you yeah. use, uh, even when it don't make sense anymore. Okay, you're okay, using it because okay. that's all you know. Okay. Eddie resorted back to his training. Yeah. So what he was doing was he come out in the first round. Thor don't know nothing but know one two. That's it. Okay. One two. That's okay. all he knows. Okay. But one, uh, I think in the second round he dropped Eddie with that backhand. Oh, is it? dropped him okay just gave him a cat and then, and then cat. there was a little gap between the arm <laughs> rocked his jaw off okay. dropped him on his ass okay um because these men are just too strong what's the height difference oh thor's tall fam mm. i don't think eddie's short mm. eddie's not i've seen eddie before he's not that short no is he taller than you he's taller than me Fair i'd play. say he's like off the dome i'd say he's probably six six on the dot six maybe yeah um yeah. thor's like we're talking thor probably like six seven six eight He's, oh, wow. No, he's like seriously tall. Oh, wow. He's tall, tall. Oh, wow. He might even be taller than that. But yeah, he's tall, bro. Mm. He's at least 6'6". Six, six. Oh, wow. He's fucking tall. Okay. Um. So yeah, there's a massive height difference between mm. them, man. And um, Rock Daddy, I think, in the, I want to say second round. I uh, might be wrong. Um. But what Eddie was doing, he had this overhand right that was working for him. Mm. So what he would do, it was he would faint like a little jab, mm-hmm. duck under whatever was retaliating mm-hmm. and throw a, a, a right hand mm-hmm. over yeah, the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Connected like four times okay. in like the first round with that. Okay. So in his head, he's it's like, this working. overhand right is yeah, working. It's working, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam, but... The... <sighs> so after the first round, Eddie was shattered. Mm. Shattered. Mm. You could tell. Mm. His feet weren't moving right. And basically what he'd done is he would drop his left hand mm. and he literally would arch himself like literally side on okay and was basically egging thor to come on a thing but his hand was literally cocked he's waiting for that it was the most obvious ploy you've ever seen his hand was literally cocked ready yeah while he's edge up he literally was doing this yeah 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 (laughs) edging up next to him with his hand ready like say man's gonna fall for that Mm. so then thor just give him a little Mm. just pepper him up a little bit (laughs) and then every time he'll get the chance he'd throw this 
slow, massive haymaker overhand right. Mm. And Thor would just like step back, just just move the fuck out of the way. And then he would just be like, ah, ah, shattered. And then same thing again. That shoulder just bumping, fam. It was embarrassing. What to was be the fair. purpose of this fight? Cash. Cash and clout? Cash and clout. That's literally all mm. it was. Was it was it instigated by fans? I don't know who fam, I'll be honest with you, you're asking for history. I don't know who the fuck instigated mm. it. Because I'm thinking this is not obviously we've spoken in the past about like um uh creators going and doing boxing and stuff, but these are actual quote unquote bodybuilders and blah blah. Why why are they what's, what's this all about? I don't know what the purpose is, bro. Mm. Uh, I think it's just beef between them two. Mm. And they're just going to box it out. I think that's just that seems to be the celebrity way to, yeah. to resolve anything these yeah, days. Is just yeah. to have a boxing match. Um, who said they've got cash for Putin um, to have a fight? Who was it? I saw Elon. It. Elon Musk. Elon, Elon said, said square up. Square up. For I've got, Russia. I've got cash <laughs> for, for Ukraine. You, me versus you, square up. And I was like, fair enough. Fair, fair. Did he offer up cash? Because I know he was asking... Oh, Ukraine to offer um, he was asking Putin to offer up Ukraine no mm, mm, yeah he mm, was saying mm. Lao Ukraine yeah I don't know but what, I, don't, I didn't know what his his what he was bringing to oh, the Putin, table Putin, I, I, to be fair I have no idea if Putin's responded I'm pretty sure oh he no I don't, obviously he's not you, you know he's, I mean? yeah he's not playing that silly but game but yeah I know, all I know all I know is that I saw someone offering up Putin for cash on a one on one square up take yeah so yeah Elon Musk I know came out and mm. was like let's just have it out ourselves mm. man, man to man um I'm not going to lie. I think Putin will smack the shit out of I Elon think, Musk. I think Putin will smack the shit out of a lot of people. <laughs> uh, a lot of people and they have no idea. You know? <laughs> he's not just face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. got training behind those eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Because he's got... I know he's got a black belt in judo and taekwondo. That doesn't... I didn't never knew that, but that doesn't surprise me. Fam? He just always looks focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he got looks like a, he, he knows what his peripherals say. Yeah. I mean, know? word on the street is they give anyone a black belt in taekwondo. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay. The word on the street is they, okay. give, they give every Tom, just, Dick, and Harry a black belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, say less. Um, judo is a different bitch. Mm. Yeah, that's a different bitch. Okay. <laughs> so that's no, you don't fuck around. If okay. he gets hands on you, yeah, yeah. it's, it's long. long. <laughs> just, He's going to fling you, yes, bro. Get off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. that being said, he's an old pussy as well. Mm, mm. So yeah, this is why I couldn't be a political leader. Because <sighs> no, I, I, no one's sending for me on yeah. a one-on-one scrap. Yeah. Because I'll if I yeah if I was Boris if I was in a G4 thing mm. whatever it is <laughs> yeah yeah I'm sending for anyone mm. on a scrap thing. That's how I would resolve all my beef. All beef, yeah. If, Fight me. Yeah. If I'm fighting for a country, yeah. I'm not losing. Right. I'll play dirty. <laughs> I'll play dirty. You have to fight me. 100%. You have, to, you have to fight me and we'll see who's really going to win. Yeah, and that's the thing. I would be terrible as well because like, it's not in Putin's best interest to scrap Elon Musk. Mm. It means nothing. Mm. But like, a bet's a bet. A bet is a bet. A bet if, is a bet. If, if, if Musk thumps him, yeah, if it's Musk, long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, But the thing is, well, my pride, if I was Putin, my pride wouldn't let me not take that fight. Of course. Of course. If some random billionaires like, yeah. oi, pussy, oh. <laughs> like, I'll fight you and if you lose, you have to lock Ukraine off. Mm. And if you win... There's an extra 50 billion in your account tomorrow. I say, yeah? Say less. Set up. Time and place. Time, fam? Time and place. Time and place. Time and, that's all I... I won't even at him. I'll just tweet from Putin's account, time and place. Fa- oh! <laughs> I won't even at Musk. I won't at Musk at all. Just time. Everyone knows why I want time and place. Wink face. That's it. A young TMP. That's it. Wink emoji. That's time it. Time and place. Time and place. Nah, see, that's the thing, bro. Uh, Say I, up. This is, I'm telling you, bro. Hang on. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, this is why I couldn't be a political leader. Mm, mm. Because no one's sending for me on Twitter saying yeah. time and place. Yeah, yeah let's go. Ego. Let's ego, ego go. Ego getting away of many a man. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I said about the YouTube boxing thing. Yes. I'll end up pulling out on the day. Yeah. Because my ego would sign up to whatever. <laughs> And my ego is as soon as someone calls me a pussy of yeah. some description, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Let's literally have it out. <laughs> I hear you. Um, but yeah, I don't know what Elon Musk is thinking. Because he'll just rock up there and be <laughs> his bank account will get dried out. I don't know. I don't really and know. And the war will continue. <laughs> <laughs> the, the war will continue. And do you think Putin would have him? Have him in a chokehold. Bro, these Russians, they they grow up different. They do. I don't think certain men understand. <laughs> these Russians grow up different. 
different, bro. They fight with bears and shit. Yeah, they just wrestle they're, anyone. They're different out there. Yeah, they got a they got a, a martial arts style out there called sambo. Okay. Really? Yeah, it's not on. Really? Yeah, it's like a. It's like kickboxing meets judo. Okay. So that it is basically just MMA. Yeah. Kickboxing yeah, yeah. meets judo meets wrestling. Yeah. It like is it's just it, it yeah. is it's it's long, fam. Mm. It's long. And whenever like Russians, Dagestanians make their way into the UFC, they mm. just chop it up. Mm. It's light for them. Fair enough. Man. So it's yeah, I wouldn't be sending for Putin on a scrap team. If I'm in that age bracket, mm. the Ukrainian president on the other hand is a young buck. Yeah. He's he's on stuff. He yeah, is, I'd scrap Putin. I'm sure, is straight away. Isn't it Vladimir Putin? Vladimir Putin. Um, who's the bre- who's the box? Klitschko. Klitschko. Isn't it Klitschko? Klitschko's brother. That's oh no, he's the mayor or something. Mayor. Something like that. Mayor. Yeah, 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 yeah. The a president, yeah. brother. I'm sure he w- used to be like a, a stand-up comedian or something. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's like a media personality. Okay. That just swung the votes. Okay. And then he got in power, and then it all kicked off. <laughs> Now he's shitting bricks. <laughs> he's sh- now, he's, now he's the brother of the joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, he, he's been holding his own, boy. Yeah. Yeah, but I, if I was him, I'm, I'm sending for a scrap. Mm, mm, because I'm mm. sure growing up in Ukraine ain't easy. Of course not. Yeah, you of learn some not. stuff. <laughs> you learn by some ch- stuff. Not by choice. Yeah. <laughs> not by choice whatsoever. S- speaking Fuck of, it. to be fair. Mom. Um, fam. Binge Top Boy over the weekend. Really? The new season. Binge okay. it. Um, I've not started it at all, but I've seen a lot of um, tweets and blah, blah, blah about how people have binged it and tried to spoil it on Twitter or socials and blah, yeah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that. and it's like, I saw I saw a tweet that said, uh, I met Kano at some event and blah, blah, blah. And I, he said to Kano, uh, I watched the whole thing in 24 hours. Blah, 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 blah. And Kano responded something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing, obviously, something along the lines of, we spent three or four months or X amount of months filming this to, filming this show for you to watch it in 24 hours. Mug. <laughs> so, Mug! Sighting so, so along those Fam? lines, you know. I dare Kenan to say Because <laughs> I binged it in less. <laughs> I dare him to call me a mug for it. Because you I got me hook, line, and singer. I'm the mug. Nah. I've heard it. I've heard it's good. I've, I've, I've heard also heard that some of the acting isn't that great. Oh, some of it's poor. But I watched the trailer not too long ago and it does look very juicy. It does look very juicy because I, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, the first so I'm season. not going to lie. A, a few of the smaller roles. Yeah. Some of the acting's on like a, a GCSE drama thing. GCSE. I'm just going to. I don't, don't want to be rude and I'm not going to point fingers. <laughs> but some of the smaller roles, yeah. the budget was a bit. It's on a GCSE bit, thing. <laughs> GCSE drama. <laughs> A young wow. year 10, yeah, wow. as well. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. No, I'm, not, I'm not even saying year 11, year yeah. 10. Oh, wow. Fam, yeah, I'm not going to lie, bro. But the the thing as a whole mm. was live. Mm. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. Some of the small roles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Budget wasn't budgeting. <coughs> Would you say it was better than the first? Um, Yeah. Ooh. Good question. Thing is, I always struggle with first. I, I mean, like the previous the season. Netflix, yeah, the previous the, season. Netflix, not yeah. like the first, 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 top boy. first. I loved the first, first, top boy. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed the first, the first, first, top boy yeah. was up, up. I really enjoyed the first, yeah, first. Yeah, I did. What is it, one two, or two seasons did it have? In the I, can't first, first I can't remember. I can't remember. I think it was two, but, but it, it was, was on Channel bang. 4. Yeah, it was banging. Yeah. But yeah, last season was still fucking banging as last well. Season this season popped. Uh, would I say it's better than last season? I'm trying to even remember last season now. I remember bits and bobs, not that Last season was pretty live, to be fair. To be fair, there's a couple Bollywood twists in here mm. that were popping. Oh, is it? Because they were coming at different angles. Because obviously, oh, yeah, last they season they travel to another country. Yeah, I've last seen season that. Yeah, the yeah. main thing was just this beef. Yeah, yeah, between the Shane and yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was just that was the whole basically the whole mm. plot. Mm. Um, this one, fam, there's angles. It's like um, it's like um, Ozark season four in terms of like the new family and all that stuff. Yeah, there's different, yeah, yeah, yeah. different there's additions. Fucking. Yeah angles in okay, this one okay so okay. to be fair this season's probably better okay this is probably better they had to step the yeah they had yeah. to step it up and mm. uh they they came through binged it bro mm. binged it oh, 10 eps or 8 eps 8 eps Eights, yeah um i'm i'm pretty certain i might just have to be on a roadman team from now on you know <laughs> i'm just gonna throw it out there i just, i know i think they're trying to deter man from the roadman life <laughs> but it just seems appealing to me <laughs> Do you tell, brother? 
Without giving much away, <laughs> I'm not going to say any spoilers. <coughs> but it's just certain aspects that seem appealing yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, there's a couple of bits where a man get their head literally kicked in, yeah. which I'm not really feeling. <laughs> but DeShane's crew don't seem to lose a scrap. Yeah. So if I could roll with them, man, <laughs> I might be all right. Yeah. Yeah, as long as I'm not bottom barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they've yeah, got the yeah, bottom yeah. barrel crackheads, yeah. and they get smacked about by of every course, Tom Dick of course, of course. If I can be up where, like, Lieutenant, mm. like where Jack's at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, somewhere around the way where Jack's, yeah. Jack's at. Like, I'm, I'm boss... I'm like middle management. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm making enough pee, but I'm not literally packing food in. You're not ca- a runner. Yeah, I'm you're not, not a runner. runner. You're, yeah, no, yeah, you're yeah, far from a runner. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not. I'm not. I don't have to sit in the market yeah. for 19 hours a day mm. if I don't want to because mm. it looks freezing yeah. and frankly quite uncomfortable. <laughs> and they, I don't know if these men are allowed to leave their post yeah. or what. What's going on? I don't know if there's food breaks. Yeah. Who's changing shifts? Yeah. I don't know. They don't yeah. explain it properly. Yeah, yeah. So all that is long. Yeah. But the whole, um, yeah, I just want to be mouthy, innit? Mm. And I just want to tump a breader a couple times. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah. I want to be on the detective things. Yeah. When them man like, oh, I heard this brother from North is chatting pop. Mm. Find him. Yeah. <laughs> and then I tell, <coughs> I come to the youths. Yeah. And I'm like, this is the brother we're looking for. Yeah. Find him. Yeah. And then someone comes back and said, oh, I heard, I heard he's at Shubs in Peckham. Yeah. And I just rock up. With the, the the man, and I throw the first blow, <laughs> and I'm like, pussy off. And then I'm out. <laughs> End scene. <laughs> That's my rolling thing. Yeah. That's what I want. And I make cake. Yeah. And then all I do is complain to Deshane. Yeah. <laughs> Like the youngers are starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I want to be we like. We need guy. more food on the yeah, streets. Yeah, we need more food. What's going on with this connect? <laughs> Where's the grub? Yeah. We need more food in the streets. The youngers are balling. That's my role. Ah! <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Guys, we're just going to take a very, very quick break from the episode to shed some love over to our boys at Manscaped, guys. So you already know spring has sprung and we're doing the spring cleaning. We're all about the spring cleaning um, this year, guys. And to complete your grooming game this spring, you need the new refined cologne signature scent Mm. by Manscaped. That Mm. signature scent? Mm. These men are doing bits and bobs. Yeah, bits and bobs. That signature scent, bro. This stuff is legit and will have you smelling like royalty. <laughs> that monarchy scent. <laughs> you can't just buy that anywhere. You monarchy can't. scent? You can't. Yeah, it's a tough nut to crack. It's different. Uh, but your boys over at Manscaped, they've cracked the code. Go and get that royalty scent. Um, and if you purchase now, you'll receive two free gifts. You're going to get the performance boxer briefs that we never shut up about. Performance Slide boxer on. briefs and the shared travel bag when you get the performance package 4.0. Join the gazillion men worldwide that have benefited from your boys at Manscaped. Um, Smell and feel good this spring, guys. And all you need to do is head on over to manscaped.com. The code is SNG. Sierra November Golf. Thank you, sir. And that's going to get you 20% off and free shipping, guys. One more time for the people in the back. It's manscaped.com. You need to use the code SNG. Sierra November Golf. Come on. And that's 20% off and free shipping. Let's get back to the episode. Thank you very much. Gang, gang. But yeah. I said the road life is for me, you know. (laughs) That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, things. fam. Some of it, I'm not gonna lie. Some of it looks juicy. Yeah, because they're always is is always zero to ten. Yeah, yeah I don't know yeah. what their Tuesday Wednesdays look like. Yeah. but fam, like one drop of a hat is is life or death. Yeah, because these men run up with guns. Mm. These men are running up to a gunfight at like six hours notice. Like I need two weeks yeah, notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to prepare things. Fam, <laughs> there's there's scenes in there where a man is like. Ballies and straps tonight. <laughs> I've got a link. <laughs> Fam? I just look at what I've got I'm a link. A, I've got a Nando's date in three hours' time. <laughs> Man said ballies and straps. Burner phones only from now. Fuck. Now it's, it's, it's stressful. It, Fam? You have to be on job. <laughs> Fuck. You've got to be on job. Fam, you have to be willing to throw it all away at yeah, moment's yeah, notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? Cash in hand. Nah, fam. Tax free though. Tax it's tax free, but you can't do shit. Yeah, yeah, you gotta wash that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to you have to wash it, and that's when tax comes in, in mm, play. Mm. If you're washing pee, you have to tax it. Fuck it's long. Fuck it's all long. Up. But yeah, <laughs> juicy show. 
Gang. I'm a, I'm a binge. Not this week, probably. I'm busy this week. Probably next week. We'll mm. I was I was vexed because I didn't even want to fucking binge it. Mm. I only binged it because um, I was ha- oh, yeah. hung over on Saturday. Yeah. Went out with my boy on Friday. Hung over on Saturday. Yeah. Um, and I got in bed at 8 p.m. I was like, I'm done with this day. Yeah. At eight, I was so just dead. <laughs> I'm done with this day. Got in bed, put on Netflix, yeah. and it was either Top Boy mm. or Drive to Survive. Ooh. And I was literally, Ooh. I had my remote flicking between the two. <laughs> I didn't know what to put. And I thought, in my head, I thought, Top Boy is going to be a more mellow thing for mm. me. Because Drive to Survive is, is fucking adrenaline yeah, inducing. Yeah, yeah. And I just haven't got the emotional capacity to <laughs> yeah. deal with it. <laughs> not today. Not, t- oh, not today. Um... <clears throat> So, yeah, I put on Top Boy thinking I'll watch one episode, mm. maybe two, be asleep by 10. Mm. Fam, I was up at like one thirty-two. <laughs> I was deep. <laughs> I was deep. It sucked you in. Fam? <laughs> yeah, I was deep in it, fam. Fuck it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of, um, speaking of F1, um, did you like watch the highlights of this um, race gone last weekend? Nah, I've seen nothing. Okay, so I, where you up to on Drive to Survive Season 4? If I haven't any. started it, bro. Oh, started. That's I'm, what I'm saying. I was okay. even gonna start it or ah, start top boy. I thought you were you had started it, but nah, 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 nah. I ain't started so it. So it's it's intense, but I don't want to give away too many spoilers because obviously this new season 2022, certain drivers have changed from this current season four, which I only found out by watching the highlights of this yeah, particular yeah, certain yeah, race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all I'm gonna say is Ferrari and Red Bull in these 2021, 2022 Bahrain highlights. Not even a murky thing. Fam, neck. And neck, bro. Not even a Sadie. Fam, Hamilton, Hamilton had to scrap. <laughs> Hamilton had to fight his way through. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Say less. All That's right. all I'm going to say. I'm going to catch up on Drive to Survive and the current goings on bro, this season. It's, it's juicy. Right, and I'm so, less. the thing is, I am actually so gassed that one, you recommended the show to me. Two, I've actually started to like get a deep dive into what F1 is about. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Three months ago, you could have asked me, name three things about F1. All I would say is literally F1. Oh, fam? You know, I wouldn't know anything else. And that's two things, you know? My, but, um, yeah, sorry to cut off. Yeah, my, ste- my stepdad used to love F1. Mm. And I, he used to put it on on a Sunday and whatever. Yeah. And I used to be like, this is boring, bro. Boring, bro. bro. Who boring. Cares? Who cares about cars racing? Who? Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro. But because yeah, that Netflix after show watching, changed everything. After watching this Netflix show, it's changed the whole game. And it's also because everyone knows I'm an avid football fan and United fan. So when the season's on, I just love watching football as much as I can. Mm. But when the season's off, there's no other sport that interests me. Yeah, 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 I don't watch yeah, yeah. boxing that much. I don't watch maybe some basketball, yes. But everything else is just not really entertaining for me. And the basketball is at dick at o'clock because it's oh, in America. Fam, I only watch, I haven't <clears> watched a live NBA game in probably the last two, three years. Do you know what I mean? And tennis, tennis for me isn't as juicy as it was when we used to watch it. In, when we watched tennis in uni... I don't know why. Oh, yeah, it was, it was just juicy. Because we had fuck all else to do. It was just... That was it, too fair. <laughs> we had fuck all else to do, but it was entertaining. It was banging. It was entertaining. But now, even just watching the highlights made me feel... I want to watch all 57 laps, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to watch all 57 <laughs> laps. Yeah. Because I need to see the scraps. Yeah, oh, fam, it's, yeah. it's juicy. All right, I'll the, hi- the highlights alone yeah. between um, Ferrari and Red Bull. Wow. Mm. Wow. Swear These men were going at it. Do you Swear know who less. won? Have you seen anything about who Fact, won I've that race? I've seen nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, I've okay. I saw it all over socials, yeah. season. Okay, I saw it all over socials. I've seen nothing of this season. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a couple of memes <laughs> about Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it. Oh, Hamilton had to scrap. Oh, say less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's a fighter. He is a fighter. I'm not going to lie. My whole life, I thought he was a giant pussy. Right? Nah. <laughs> I knew nothing about him to have any judgment. Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. I just knew he was killing it. I knew nothing about him. Yeah, yeah. I just thought he was a pussy. Okay. Right? I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, yeah, I just did. He's a, oh yeah, he's, he scraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah he does what he needs the, to do at certain points. Get him on the track. He's yeah, ready yeah, to go. He's for ready, it. bro. He's ready to go he's for it. Ready, but yeah, it's it's um, it's gonna be a good season. I can tell. I don't know where they're at this weekend. I'm not too sure, but it was Bahrain. First opening week was Bahrain, and it looked good. It looked juicy. It looked juicy. So yeah, I'm <laughs> say looking, less. I'm looking forward to this week. Fam, all right. As of this week, yeah. Binge in Drive to Survive, yeah, and I'm watched, catching up with this season. Catch up, bro. I watched. I watched two eps on the way down here. I'm gonna watch the rest on the way back up. Gang. Juicy, bro. Gang. Gang, 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 gang. Mm, Say less. Mm, um, mm. You said you had a, a little topic. <clears throat> yes. So it's <coughs> somewhat a fun fact slash topic that I want to discuss. Mm-hmm. So have you heard of this Leah Thomas chick that's been going around on socials? 
No, I take it by the look of your face. Uh, it's to, again, maybe it's names, bro. I don't know names, but anyway, carry on. So Leah Thomas is a is the first trans transgender athlete to win uh, NCAA divisions in any sport. She's a swimmer. You've seen this thing. Right? I know all about this, bro. So obviously she she trans she's been breaking records. She, fam, she was like when she was a guy. He was ranked 430 something or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something bullshit. Something crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she identifies as a woman. She's first. And it's like, how are people, how are we getting away with this? <laughs> how, how are the officials letting this happen? It's a. I, I understand identity. I understand you wanna, you feel as if you're not the person, you, you don't have the, you are not in the body you wanna be in, you want to change. All of that I understand. But I feel like, it's it's unfair. It hundred percent is unfair. You have muscular advantages. You have height advantages. You still have these male things inside you that make you a stronger swimmer. Bro, like it's, it's sorry uh, to cut you off. There's there's this. There was this um, track and field athlete a few years ago. I can't remember her name. Um, black chick, but the she, testosterone. The testosterone chick, but everyone thought she was a man. Yeah, she wasn't a man. Was she, she? She's she just not, had like she, g- genetically. She was high just testosterone. She just runs, bro. Yeah, but they made a rule. Uh, I can't remember what it was. They basically told her you need. I can't remember. It was either it was one way or the other. I'm so lost with that story because it was like a year. Or, mm, it was, it was like maybe a year, year or maybe two. Yeah, maybe two. Something along the line. She had to take testosterone like um, suppressants mm-hmm, mm-hmm, to get her mm-hmm, testosterone mm-hmm, down. Mm-hmm. Um, so it can be level with everyone yeah, else and blah, and blah, I'm blah. I'm pretty sure they might have even increased the um, the levels or like the optimum, like the uh, top line level of what a woman um, athlete is allowed to have in terms of testosterone. Mm. They may have even increased that for the division. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I can't remember. I might be making that up mm. but i feel like that was a thing mm. so basically yeah she had to bring her testosterone down and they might have actually just brought the whole level as a mm. whole up so a couple of men are allowed to but yeah my stance is very easy with the the transgender argument because it's it's not even just with this swimming thing it's yeah. been happening in sports all over yeah yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. with transge- transgender athletes and it's like um there's even like an mma fighter mm. that's transgender that's just tumping bitches up is it? Yeah, and I think it, and it needs to be. <clears throat> it's very easily like dealt. I say easily. Putting people's feelings about stuff aside is very easily dealt with. Mm-hmm. You either like it's one of them things. It's like um, there you never used to because I, I know one of the arguments is like, oh, you just bring in a transgender division, mm-hmm. and it's like their main argument to that is like. For one, which is a little bit more political, is the whole, well, <clears throat> trans women are real women, so they need to go in the women's division. Mm-hmm. However, this is just like, I don't like ignoring plain, obvious facts. Mm-hmm. Like you said, they have body advantages. Mm-hmm. That's just a fact. That will so, always be a fact. Yeah, if they don't want to compete with the men, because I'm sure, again, they would have taken estrogen. Mm-hmm. So they probably have less testosterone than the men, mm-hmm. so they might not fit even with the men's category anymore mm-hmm. just make you just make a transgender category mm-hmm. and it's patterned mm-hmm. and i know a lot of the argument i've heard around that in articles and stuff is like oh but that's like there's there aren't enough athletes for that mm-hmm. and it's like cool well there never used to be enough women athletes mm-hmm. there never used to be women leagues <clears throat> in anything mm-hmm. there never mm-hmm. used to be mm-hmm. the paralympics never used to be a thing there never used to be enough disabled people for these things. but now once it once it's formed there is there is yeah so you just need to Form it. Form it. And then we go from there. And it might be a bit boring at the start. Mm. There might be only a few people to start with, but I'm sure as the years go on, yeah, it, it will would, pattern up. It will encourage more people. And to, it will encourage more people yeah. because like you said, like a lot of, I think a lot of the controversy around it is that people seem to be very scared to say, this ain't right. Mm. And everyone keeps saying, this <clears> is fine. This is fine. When it's very obviously not fine. Mm. And even uh, I know like, a lot of our teammates mm-hmm. are, are very much like, yeah, it's fine. But then I've heard like behind closed doors, they're like, it's, it can't run. Mm-hmm. Like it's mm-hmm. very obviously can't run. And it has nothing to do with being transphobic or anything like that. It's just a simple fact, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you're built different, literally. You're literally built different. You're literally built different. It's <clears throat> it not, makes no oh, sense. It's not fair. It's not, that's it. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. the fact that 
obviously Leah Thomas is winning these events and she's getting these medals or whatever. It's like after the race, she like shook high five the other two competitors that came second and third. It's like if I'm coming second or third as a woman in this in this event, I'm vex. Especially if I'm coming second by by like five, six meters, because you're obviously built different. Yeah, you're built different, and that's fine. And then I think that I guess the other argument is is okay, cool. So my one stance is cool, either make a transgender league. Mm-hmm. 100%, or, which I agree on. Let me take all the steroids I want. Make it fair. Make, yeah. Make it fair. <laughs> because there's no other way. There's yeah, literally no other way it can work. All the steroids I want, <laughs> and then we can pattern up. We can go. All the steroids. That's the only way. <laughs> It, yeah, but uh, it's <coughs> it's a tough old gig. It, oh boy, it is. It's, it's gonna come is. to a. It's coming to a. I think in the next couple of years, it's gonna come to a head where people just make a decision once and for all because it can't just keep it. Keep, it keeps spiraling out of control, mm, and mm. there's too many of these stories of. There's like I've heard weightlifting stories. I've heard MMA stories. I've heard now swimming oh, wow. stories of like yeah, like transgender athletes just smashing the records. Especially when they were very mediocre athletes in male categories, mm-hmm. they're smashing records in female, female categories, of course. and it's of course, just like, course. okay, cool. What? Of course, it needs to be sorted. Yeah, it's it's tough. <sighs> anyway, anyway. Uh, on a lighter note, mm-hmm. what have we got? Twitter Hall of Fame. Before we get to Twitter Hall of Fame, I've got a quick. Um, you know when I told you before, like sometimes when I watch shows that um, Bella recommends or us on Bella's algorithm, it mm. somewhat kind of pops. Yeah, yeah, we spoke about this a few, before a few. Is times. that where you found Good Girls? No, I got Good Girls from another person from a different recommendation. Oh, okay, cool. But Good Girls pops. I've nearly finished that show. Um, <clears throat> so, have you ever heard of a medium called Tyler Henry? Medium is like a spiritual. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I never have. Where are they I... from? UK? Uh, America. 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 Cali. I don't. I don't think so. I think they're built from Cali because it's the show's more time based around Cali. Um, anyway. So the basis or the crux of the show is he's a medium. He he has um, he's gay. I don't know if that's relevant. Um, he's got a partner. He's got um, his mum is his assistant slash driver, and so is his sister as well. Every <clears throat> every um, client he has, he doesn't know about prior, so he gets the information. The producers get the information. The producers tell the driver's eye his mum or his sister or his boyfriend or whoever takes him to the spot. And he kind of gets like <clears throat> readings on what he's going to be reading that day. For example, um, <clears throat> he met to, he went to meet um, the current owner of LA Lakers. I, can't remember, I think her name is Jeannie, Jeannie, Jeannie Russell, Jeannie Bus, something like that. Oh, okay. um, yeah, and she had, um, she was having like, not necessarily like premonitions, but she was having um, certain feelings about wondering whether her dad is um, proud of her and blah, 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 because her dad was the owner of the Lakers, got passed on to her, blah, blah, blah. So he's going back and forth with this whole medium thing about trying to connect with the father and explaining everything to her, but they don't give anything away. So let's say, <clears throat> let's say I'm Tyler, for example, and you're my client. I will be like, I'm getting this feeling of, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. Does this ring a bell? He'll be reeling off a few things. And the reaction they give is like, fucking, I was spot on, a spot on, a spot on, a spot on. And obviously he has no idea about anything that you want to discuss today. He just knows that he's getting these readings and getting these feelings. But the reason why I want to talk about the show isn't because of the actual medium. It's because of the actual backstory. But I'm just giving you a bit of background of what the show is and what he does. Okay. That's the reason why I was going through that part. Okay. But it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, the show, in a sense, has a Bollywood twist because it's a show about this medium thing, but it's also a fucking documentary because his mum, the backstory of his mum is that his mum, <clears throat> he thought his mum was adopted. Mm. Comes to find out his mum was taken. Fam, when, when she was a ute, just taken by, I can't remember her name, her name is Stella. Her name is fucking Stella. She got fucking taken or, and... She has brothers and sisters. But her brother and sister, Stella's white, not Stella. I can't remember her mum's name. Let's, let's call the mum Amy. Amy's white. Or like very, very fair-skinned. And the brother and sister, I want to say is Latin American. I, I don't know where, but very much Latin American. It's evident. But the kids at the time didn't know anything about it because Stella, the mum, at the time said she was dating a white man. 
So they just thought, you know, X and Y equals Z. Boom. Little did they know, she got yanks. I still don't know how and why and blah, blah. I've, I've not gone that far into it. Um, back in the day, she, i.e. Stella, was at a hotel with the kids. So there's three kids, um, two, one guy and two girls, including, quote unquote, Amy, uh, Tyler's mum. Mm. And this is way before, obviously, Tyler was born. Mm. Um, he, she, um, she hollered the son. I can't remember his name. She hollered the son and said, come to, come to the hotel that, we're, um, that I'm at. I want to show you something. He comes through, two fucking dead bodies. He, she has killed the owners of this hotel and convinced the son to bury these bodies. He's 18 thinking, what the fuck? He just wanted to be a happy, happy living civil servant. He wanted to be a police officer. He wants to have a family. He just wants to retire. Let me pause you there. Yeah. I'm lost and I'm confused. What? Right. <coughs> right. I'm so sorry. Uh, hit me. Hit me. I'm so confused. <laughs> hit me. Where are you confused? I'll, I'll, right. I'll paint the picture okay. properly. We're calling Stella Tyler's mum. No, no, no. Stella is the grandma. Stella Amy's is Tyler's mum. Amy is Tyler's mum. I can't remember her name, but let's say her name is Amy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So Tyler's so mum is Tyler, Amy. there's Amy. Amy and there's Stella. So Stella's Stella the grandma. rang her brother. Stella rang her son. So Amy's brother and sister. When they're like 18. Yeah, so they were youths. So Stella's the youngest, I Because believe... when you said youths, I was thinking like six, seven. No, no, so no, no. So when no, you no. said she bailed the son, he's only 18. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hotel owners... Tell me. I, I'm so confused. Just tell me. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Right. Okay. So let me just... Pa- paint, yeah, paint okay. the picture. Let me paint the picture. Yeah. Back in the day... Yeah. Stella's, Stella's top dog. She's Stella's up the, the, the head of the household. Yes. She's got three kids. Yes. One's a boy and two are girls. Two are girls. One girl is Tyler's mum. Yes. Who's white. Who's or fair white. skinned. The yeah. boy yeah. and the girl are Latina. Latin, Latin American. And Stella's Latina as well. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Now she's... They're, they're in a hotel room yes. with the two daughters. She No, Stella's in a hotel and she calls her son, son cool, to, to come, come through, through to the, the hotel because she says, she, I want to show you something. He comes there and the owners of the hotel Bodies. are dead in her room. Yeah, yeah, cool. Dead in a spot. He doesn't say where, just dead in a spot in a hotel. Cool. <clears throat> she then convinces him to drag the bodies and bury the bodies. They obviously go to Penn. The grandma and the uh, son, well, Stella, Stella and, and the, the son. son go to Penn. Amy's brother, Amy's brother, cool. go to Penn. <laughs> Amy's brother, that's sweet. I don't know why. <laughs> go to Penn. Obviously, this is all before Tyler's born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's only when, let's say, Stella was no, let's say Amy was fifty-five, for example. It was only at that age she realized her brother and sister aren't her brother and sister because they've done a, they've done a, um, um. Like a DNA test, and and blood. They've, they've done one of them things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it pans out, they're not even related. So obviously Tyler, being a medium, has like, I need to find answers. I need to find fucking answers. Uh-huh. So it's all unraveling like a fucking documentary. Regardless of this Tyler thing. Tyler's got his own show trying to speak to dead man. Yeah, and yeah, trying yeah. to get dead man to comfort other man. But he's also trying to find he's out the mystery of his family. The mystery of his whole family is all convoluted, bro. So it's bring nuts. it back to the snatch thing. Who got snatched? Amy Tyler's mum, Amy, got snatched from someone. When? We don't know, brother. So how does she know because she got snatched? <laughs> because they're not related. They're not, she, they just came back one day with a ute. She came oh. back one day with just a ute. So, so the, her mum's a fucking murderer. Her mum's a murderer and cracked. She and went, she's stealing ute. She just took a ute. We don't know how. We don't know why. <laughs> okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm with you so now. So at the time, the, when, when, I say the, <laughs> when I say the brother and sister... Didn't question it because at the time she was dating a white, Stella was dating a white man. Oh. So it just seemed as if, okay, she's so fairer. So they didn't even clock that they, she was never pregnant or nothing. She I, just snatched the ute. She just, she, she left and came back and she would, she just had a ute. A she, baby. She just had a ute. Nah, 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 nah. This is why, obviously, I'm, okay. I'm so far right. behind. I don't know what, what the wait. fuck is the name of this show? It's called Life After Death with Tyler Henry. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Thank you, fam. Because what I'm going to say to you is when you started chatting about mediums and Lakers owners and he's answering questions that she didn't even ask, I wanted to smack you and say you've fell off. You've fell off when it comes to recommendations. There's no way in hell my lifelong friend 
is recommending a fucking medium show to me <laughs> about some bullshit in LA. <laughs> but now you've you've come with this Bollywood yeah, twist. I told you that the show for some reason has a Bollywood twist. Oh, right. unwarranted Bollywood. All twist. right, sound, sound, sound. I'm not. Sound. I'm not saying it as a recommendation. You're just saying. I'm just saying it because you this watch one Bella's algorithm and, and this one I'm currently. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one I'm currently watching and it's like raw. That's wild. There's some wild twists in this shit. That is fucking yeah. wild. Because I, I literally never expected it. Oh, I, I literally never expected it. Never Fam, expected I didn't it. expect it when you were telling the story. Fam, it's nuts. Yeah, Fam, there's a story he tells. There's a story that one of the um, clients tells Tyler. Um, <clears throat> um, it made, what's the word? It resonated a lot more with Tyler because he never really gets emotionally invested in, in his readings. He just does the readings. Um, so if it's like a mother that's lost a son or blah, 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 it never really affects him because he doesn't have a kid. He's, he's never going to feel it in that way. He feels sympathy, not empathy, if that makes sense. Um, but there was a client he had. The client was also gay. He had a boyfriend. And for some weird reason, this is the story that they said. This is not my words. Um, for some weird reason, the boyfriend said they were at a beach and the boyfriend said, oh my God, someone's coming to get me. So he must have had been feeling these like spiritual awakenings or premonitions or whatever. Oh my God, someone's coming to get me. And then for some reason, there was a gust of wind and the, you know, those beach umbrellas that, that the people have. A beach umbrella blew and pierced the boyfriend through the skull. On the show? This happened? No, 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 no. It didn't, they didn't show it. This was the story okay. that my man told Tyler. Okay. So he, while he's telling this story, he said he was having random thoughts mm. and he said out loud, he said, out someone's, loud. someone's coming, coming to, to get, get me. me. And then, a, a, what's it called? Like a canopy. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Popped his yes. boyfriend in the skull. Bro? That's one of the weirdest stories I've ever heard. Weirdest stories I've ever heard. Fair play. All right, man. But yeah, that was, that. I just wanted to let you know, give you a little deep dive on what I'm watching at the moment. Right, or what I've, what I've jumped on because of Bella's algorithm. But... Twitter Hall of Fame is what we will do now. All right, gang, let's do Twitter Hall of Fame. <laughs> Motherfuckers get a MacBook and never use the word laptop again. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, bougie Apple products will change your integrity. It will. It will. It will it, change your bro, integrity. I see, even till date, like, um, I see Instagram stories and you can just obviously tell when it's an Android. And it just fucks me off. I feel like Android users can't tell the difference when they look yeah, at stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, yeah, it's like, uh, I remember people used to send me like Android emojis mm. and I used to mm. see and just think, yuck, <laughs> what the fuck is that? That is this, I'm pixelated uh, emoji pi- thing. Yeah. Move from me. It's like, and you'd send them an iPhone one and they'd be like, it's just question, question marks. Question marks. <laughs> yeah, question marks. Dead. Like you need to do better. You yeah, really yeah, need yeah, to do yeah. better. <laughs> just because I said I don't go for looks doesn't mean you should look like a weapon formed against me. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Jesus Uh, Christ. At the gym. Where's the hype machine at? (laughs) That's dumb. (laughs) That's dumb. (laughs) Oh, fam. If there was a hype machine in the gym, (laughs) I would use it three times a day. Where was I? Where the fuck was I? I can't remember. Um, oh my God. Yes, I remember. Fam. Mm. I'm literally just not tall enough. Mm. And it's just not on. Because I think, because we play averages. Mm. We, well, we don't play averages, but we talk about averages. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Av- okay, I'm going to Google it right now. Okay. What is UK average male height, bro? Because I think, I think I'm above average. average I think average height is 5'9". I, I think five, that's ten. what they say, bro. That's what, yeah, I'm male going off what they say. average... Height, UK male average height, 5'9". Five, nine. Five, nine, so yeah. that's you in it. Mm-hmm. Fam? So I'm supposed to be um, two inches above average. Your boy's mm. sitting pretty at 5'11". It don't feel like it, Fuad. It don't feel like it, bro. When I went to this, um, so I went to the, the Moon Knight premiere yes, with yes, Jay the other yes, day. Really and they this. had to do some uh, paparazzi thing okay. um, on the steps. It was at the Great British Museum, I said. Mm. It was on the steps. Okay. And they were like, cool, stand on the steps. I, fam, no word of a lie. I look like some make a wish kid next to my man. How old tall is he? 6'4? Six, 6'4, four? Six, four, yeah. He was towering over me. And then to mug me off even more, he put his, his arm, arm around me. me like a yak, like a little boy yak. 
<laughs> Fuhad. Of course he would do that. Fuhad. <laughs> and he kept, the whole time, yeah. he was like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. <laughs> I said, man, get off me. He's looking up at I'm looking up at him. him. I've never felt so small in my life, oh, bro. And there's literally nothing Physically we can do. and emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just not tall enough. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. There literally isn't, bro. Nothing. You guys can get this BBL, this tummy tuck thing. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing. Unless I'm willing to let a doctor shave my leg off <laughs> yeah. and uh, put something in there, some stilt thing in mm. the shin. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just done at it. And it's just, bro, it's just painful, man. Mm, mm. It literally is painful, bro. <laughs> it's just, I'm not, I don't consider myself a short person yeah. by any means yeah. until I see a tall brother. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, what is it? I shouldn't ever have to do this. <laughs> for another guy. For another man. <laughs> We're supposed to be equals. <laughs> nah, bro, it's peak. Oh, it's hilarious. I'm sick of it, man. Oh, um, it's the, but it's yeah. the bane of me. It's, is the it game is. is the game, isn't the it? The game literally is the game. There's literally nothing you can do about it. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, actually, just to be fair, yeah. um, just before you carry on, mm. it reminds me of, you know when I was talking about Married at First Sight? Yes. I said the guy, there's a guy in there called Brent. Mm, and I, uh, I said he's the buffest guy I've seen. Like, white, white guy. guy you've seen. Yes, buffest yes, yeah, white yeah, guy yeah, I've yeah, seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, physically yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he was at the uh, altar, yes. when they had their first like, dinner party or whatever, yes. and it's the first time that the chicks have seen the guys mm. who is not their husband. Mm -hmm. One of the girls goes to his wife. His wife's called Tamara. One of the girls goes to his wife. Ah, oh, when you saw him at the altar, I bet you were thinking, yes, yes. She goes, mm, to be fair, I thought he was a bit short. That's the first thing she thought. He's a bit short. And to be fair, he is. Mm. Because like, he doesn't look short because he's taller than her. Mm. When you only ever see them two together, of course, of course. you have no idea that you're short yeah. until it's a dinner party yeah. and all the man's come in yeah. and he th he's just down here and yeah. you're like, ah, that looks brutal. <sighs> and you're the buffest guy I've seen, brother. Yeah. And you have to live like this. Yeah. It's just not on, bro. It's not. Anyway. Right, yeah. So cool. back to a Hall of Fame. Um, <clears throat> I really don't even like my girl. I just don't want to start over, respectfully. <laughs> oh, fam. Oh. I know Tough. there's fair people. To be fair, there's more women that go through that than men. Tough. I would say a strong 65% of women. Tough. Go through that. Oh. Oh. Right. This one is a, this one is a, um, how do I say it? It's a tweet with a picture, with a caption. All right. So, been wet sheet. so this girl tweeted, been waiting to use that line on a nigger and she put like a cheeky emoji and a cool face. So the brother said, lol in caps, you're so funny, you know? And then she replied, I made you giggle, baby girl. <laughs> X. <laughs> Yo, his fam, his face would drop. 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 What can you even reply to that? It's ruined my whole day. <laughs> Because it's gonna be one of them ones where your initial reactions be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and then yeah, you're yeah. like, "All right, let me calm down. Yeah. Let me calm down. Let me fucking calm down." Because so, and in her mind, all she sees is three dots and then no and dots then, then, and then three dots she's again. She's winning. She's won the whole oh, thing. Beef. She's won the whole thing, and I'm vexed about yeah, it. Yeah, livid. I'm vexed about it. Oh. Fuck's sake. <laughs> let me calm down. <laughs> let me calm down. That resonate with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's jokes. <laughs> We're not gonna put, we're not gonna pretend like Pete getting multiple tattoos for someone it, he's been dating for six months is normal. You have seen this thing about so Pete apparently got um obviously Pete Davidson got a tattoo. What was it was did she say it was a tattoo? She called it a um she didn't call it a tattoo she called it something else. But long story short, Pete Davidson got a tattoo of something to do with Kim on him, like not too long ago. And I don't know why it was called. She didn't call it a tag. She called it something else, though. It's a slag tag or something. So, I don't know. What it he said it was side. But yeah, it's it's wild. Yeah. He's not normal, though. I don't it's, know why. It's just not normal at all. That doesn't even surprise it's me. It's not normal at all. But anyway, <laughs> this will probably resonate with you because you've seen it. Um, you've seen the season. Kano is the type of man you make food for four times a day. <laughs> Random, in that show, you don't know where you stand with Kano. Mm. You don't know where you stand <laughs> with him. You don't know if you're boys or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just keeps everyone on edge yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. 
It's oh, it's so str- I, I couldn't be his boy in that show. It's just so stressful. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching it, man. Oh, fuck it out. Who's buying these boiled eggs as their snack in the Tesco meal deals? <laughs> Please own up. We Fra- need to chat. I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> I literally saw that on Twitter the other day. Sweeted me. It's fucking facts. Who the fuck is buying boiled those? eggs? <laughs> Sweet. Yuck. This is a um, this is a chick. I was in the gym the other day, and the man asked me how many sets have I got left, and I really didn't know what I did. Really don't get the workout lingo, so I said, "Give me three minutes, please." I was so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that one. Take me back to the first day we met, so I can ghost you. Tough. Tough. My toxic trait is I'm psychic and I know what you did because I just know. (laughs) (laughs) Fam, that's every woman. That's every woman on planet Earth are so frustrated. This intuition thing, shut up. The day I found out 51 was divisible by 17 was the day I knew anything was possible in life. (laughs) Fam, is that... I checked that, it. I that, read that tweet and checked it that immediately. Day today. <laughs> I checked it immediately. <laughs> it's Bruh. three. Yeah, the answer is three. Wow. I checked oh, wow. it immediately. Okay, cool. <laughs> Fuck. Girls think a baby is going to change a man. Now her and the baby are crying. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm asking. laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Oh, wow. Uh, I've got a couple more. All right, go on. If I fall in love with you, please don't cheat or, please don't cheat or put me in a situation where I've got to step out of character because I'm going to show you some colours you ain't never seen in a crayon box before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. All right, this is the last one. This is a conversation as opposed to a tweet. All right, cool. Um, dude, you're never coming on my back again. I had to wash my weave twice, asshole. Girl, you've got the wrong number. <laughs> wow. He nutted in my hair and gave me a fake number. <laughs> I'm so sorry. These dudes are trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, imagine. I could never imagine. That's not something I could imagine. I'd be fuming. I'd be fuming. I'd be fuming, brother. That's tough, man. It is. Oh, well, <sighs> um, that was... A lot of fun, actually. It was. Thank you, guys. Um, as always, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs and we'll jump back in on Thursday, mm. guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Chirp's sing in the comments. You know the Leave a review if you listen on the audio. Mm. Um, and as always, guys, love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Bye. Bye. Bye.